Garrett waking up with queens here. He's going to put in a three bet. 8,000. And Ben with the cold four bet. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Imagine Garrett's going to continue as a call here in position. If Ben's bluffing, let him continue bluffing. A five bet here gets all worse to fold and better to call or jam. Garrett does just call. 17,000 in the pot going to the flop. Blank, blank, blank. Then going to go one third pot. Garrett can continue as a call in position. $28,000 in the pot going to the turn. And Ben picks up a sliver of hope here. He does pick up a gut shot to a six. SPR of just about three. Ben going to keep firing and firing large. Under 60 back, less than 60 back. I guess 75 total. Gary can continue as a call once again. $60,000 in the pot. One pot size bet left for Ben going to this river. Let's see if he pulls the trigger. Four on the river. Garrett now loses to hands like ace five. Aces and kings. He beats everything else. Got to be a tiny bit concerned about a hand like ace five suited. And Ben fires the third barrel. And he doesn't jam. You want to come? He doesn't jam. He bets about half of his effective stack left. And this feels exactly like aces or kings. And Garrett trying to figure out if he's got enough bluffs here to make a call profitable. Don't know if Garrett... will ever fold here. He knows Ben's stuck. He knows he can get out of line. But it's a much tougher call with Queens than it looks like when we can see the cards. Ben's bluffs here are ace-king, ace-queen. Garrett does make the call. The precocious young boy is good once again. A $114,000 pot going Garrett's way. Nice hand. And Garrett's monster night continues. Garrett now up north of $280,000 on the night. 